everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a kitten chat to share with you all. I feel very out of sorts because I very rarely film on the weekdays, like after work. Um, but I just finished my current kit, which was a Bella Safina, and I decided to start kitting up the Sugar Plum Fairy. Now, I have done a shop with me for special drills, plan my special drills with me video, which was last week's whip and chat. I'll be sure to link that down below. Um, and I had mentioned that I was planning to film a kitten chat or kitting up video um, so that I could go over how I deal with adding so many special drills into a kit. So I have this big bag from DP with Sparklers and I have a couple of other drills that I already had in my stash that I will be adding into this kit. Um, so I have some crystals and some ABs that I'll be mixing in with the regular drills here. Um, so I wanted to be able to show you guys how I kit up when I have so many extra special drills. So I went ahead and cut everything, all of the drills, I organized them in some sort of number order. Um, so I just have them grouped in like hundreds, so 100, 200, so on. Um, I have a tray. I'm going to be using the Craftmates Lockables uh, for this one. I wanted to use a set of Elizabeth Wards, but I haven't de-kitted the last kit that I used in um, in that system. I do have a few of their trays, but I like to mix and match the containers. So I used a lot of the really small ones for that last project. So I don't have any available, which is why I decided to use this after all. Now, small disclaimer, uh, my boyfriend is out in the living room playing video games um, and one of his friends is on. So they are playing a game, I don't know. You may hear him in the background, um, but yeah. Last time I said that and I couldn't hear it when I was editing, so hopefully it doesn't come off too loud that you guys can hear it. But if you do, I apologize. Also, I this afternoon when I got home from work, I filmed a small shop haul and my cat was off the charts meowing the entire time. And I would just like to note that as soon as I got done filming that video, she was completely silent and... She is now completely silent. You cannot hear her anywhere. <laughs> so, <sighs> cat life, I guess. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to post this as a kitten chat. So it'll be my Monday video, which is when I've been trying to post the longer um, content for you guys. Um, but I feel like this will be a little less like chatty and a little more like this is my process. So I hope that's okay. Um, I'm filming this on Wednesday night and it won't go up until Monday. So I don't really have like anything exciting to share with you all, but we'll do our best. <laughs> so I like to trim my labels down. I don't use the, um, what do they call this on Diamond Art Clubs? I don't use the serial number. So the one through 45, I just don't see the need to use it um I would just rather not um so I trim that off and I do also trim down a little bit past the label so I have some labels that are size the same if that makes sense um this is what we're kitting up the sugar plum fairy this is my Mandy Manzano kit for November very excited to get working on this one. My last kit took me quite a long time. It took me much longer than I thought it would. Um, so I did my first Bella Safina. It was November Blessings. I did um, unbox that on the channel somewhat recently. I think I got it over the summer when she was running a sale. Um, I... I, obviously, I'll be posting a full post review, since, especially since it's my first kit from that shop. Is that going to be long enough? Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I always put washi tape down on my containers. It just makes it so much easier to peel the labels up. And then you don't have to worry about what kind of adhesive you're using. 
Um, so back to my Bella Savina. It took me quite a while to finish that kit. I had been hoping I would finish it in less than a week. I started it on November 1st. Um, and today is the 8th and I just finished it. So it took me eight days. It took me a little over a week um, to finish it. I don't know. I didn't... It was a little frustrating to work on. Again, I'll go through all of this in a post review, but I liked it and I, I'm not gonna say I won't purchase from them again. I just don't know that it was enjoyable. I was just, it was kind of a drag and I'm really excited about some projects that I have coming up. I'm gonna move you down just a little bit. Um, that I have coming up this month and I just kind of wanted to be done. <laughs> I wanted to be done with that kit, um, but it is what it is. So when I finished that tonight, I was like, now what should I do? Uh, so I decided to kit this one up and then I can start it tomorrow after work. And then we actually have a three day weekend coming up for Veterans Day. So that'll give me some time to work on on this kit and I also need to finish decorating for Christmas and I also have some Christmas DIYs that I really need to do so I don't know I'm a little feeling a little overwhelmed I was looking at my kits and I was like I don't think I'm gonna get four done this month which would be a bit of a bummer but I don't I don't have to get four done it's just that's kind of where I've been it's what I've been able to get done lately um so I don't know. One of them was, um, one of them is a Hannah Lynn that I added in recently. So it wasn't really planned anyway. Um, so we'll see. Uh, one thing I do want to see, let's see, I have 45 colors, two, four, six, 32, 34, 36, 38, 42, 44, 46, 48, 52, 54, 56. Um, so I think I'm going to use up these three containers here for uh, glare is annoying. That seems a little better. I have a lot of 310. Oh, that's Steven being very loud. <laughs> um, I have a lot of 310. What am I going to do here? Um... I'm trying to decide. Well, I'm definitely going to use these three containers for 310. So let's see how many bags I can get rid of. And then the other ones might just sit. Oops. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> um, uh, let's do some of these small bags. So it looks like maybe I can get one big bag and two small bags in these containers. I I do actually really enjoy the Craftmate lockables. They're not my favorite storage system, but I do like them for kits like Mandy Manzano um, when I'm going to have a lot of one color because these compartments hold a lot of drills. So. Uh, I would definitely encourage you to check them out if you haven't used them before. I know that Amazon um, normally has them for anywhere from like $14.99 to $16.99. I have two sets and I do really um, I do enjoy using them. It's nice when you have that painting that you're kind of like, hmm, what system should I use? It's nice to just have this one to pull out because a lot of drills fit in the containers. It's, it's less thinking. I do love my Elizabeth Ward storage systems, but when I kit up with those, I feel like I really need to use my brain because I need to be picking the correct, um, correct size containers. And I get frustrated when I can't get them all to fit. And so, and I love my large Tic Tac containers um, on that six tier stadium thing that I have. I do love those ones, but I'm saving that for a Dreamer Designs that I'm hoping to work on later this month. 
Um, as far as the DIYs that I was talking about, I did put up a poll on my community tab asking if you guys would be interested in seeing oh side note since these these containers are all next to each other i'll know that these two are 310 so i don't label them any further these drills are looking a little bit staticky not too bad um but i may i may go back and add some dryer sheets at the end we'll see Okay, so I have three bags of 310 left. That's not bad at all. I will just fill in as I start using those other two pots. I will just add uh, drills as I need. And I think that's really the only color that I have a lot of. Uh, I have two bags of 352, but otherwise I think we're, we're pretty good on, on that. Um... What was I talking about? <laughs> this is my problem with, with whip and chess. I forget what I'm talking about. I go off on like random tangents. Oh, DIYs, right? Is that what I was talking about? So I did put up a poll on my community tab and I asked you if you'd be interested in seeing Christmas DIYs from me. And the results were very strong for yes. Um, I did have some people that said no, that they would prefer me to stick to time and painting. And I had some people that said no because they don't celebrate Christmas, um, so they wouldn't watch. I think I'm going to go ahead and, and film the DIYs. One of them I've never done before, um, so I am going to try one first. <laughs> and then um, if I feel like... I like it and that I'm capable of showing you, then I will. Um, the other one is something that I do very often, so I am pretty comfortable um, sharing that with you all. I will probably be filming those this weekend. I'm just trying really hard to mix up my content. So I do a lot of unboxings. I do a lot of small shop hauls, which I do have a small shop haul that will be coming to the channel soon. But this time of year, I really scale back my spending. I, believe it or not, <laughs> I love Christmas. I love buying Christmas decorations. I love gifting Christmas gifts. I guess I should say I scale back my spending in terms of diamond painting. Let me make that clarification. Because I do love, I love giving gifts. I hate receiving gifts. But I love giving gifts and um, I feel like not to like talk myself up or whatever, but I do feel like I'm a very good gift giver. Um, I pay attention to things that people say and um, things that they're interested in. And I, I just think really hard um, about what I give people. It's something I'm very proud of myself for. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't come off like... In, a, in the wrong way. I just, I don't know, I enjoy giving gifts. So I currently don't have any items coming, diamond painting items coming to me. I don't have any diamond paintings. I don't have any accessories. Uh, my small shop haul today that I filmed was me getting caught up. I don't have anything left to share. Obviously, I know that Black Friday is coming and I will probably make a couple of purchases um, as I'm able. Wait a second. They put, oh, that would have messed me up. They put the labels, they did a 351 and then 350, 352, 353. I'm just going to move this label. Um, so like I was saying, I don't have any unboxings. I think I have one left, um, in my stored away unboxing. So what I do, let me go off on another tangent, but it's a whip and chat or a kitten chat, right? That's what we're supposed to do. So I 
what I like to do is I film my videos. So if I get a diamond painting, as soon as I'm able to film an unboxing, I film that unboxing. I edit the video, I render the video, I upload the video, and then it just kind of sits as a private video on my channel. Um, I like to have a backlog of videos, which saved me last month. Uh, when our cat passed away, I had videos stored. I didn't have to worry about filming for a couple of weeks, which was great. Um, but I like to just have some videos available to upload if I'm if I'm lacking in the content department. So I think I have one more unboxing. I think it's a Diamond Art Club unboxing from, I must have, well, maybe I filmed it in early October because I didn't buy any diamond paintings last month. So it's from a September purchase and I just haven't gotten around to uploading it just yet. It's an older kit. Uh, it's not something that needed to be shared right away. So that will be coming soon and my small shop haul will be coming soon. But other than that, I don't have any purchases coming. Now I do have a video with New Craft Day. Um, waiting for some product for that. So that'll be a different video that I can share. Um, a budget friendly. It's been a while since I've done a video with them. And I do have another video that will be coming, um, which I'm quite excited about. It's a a new affiliate relationship. So I do have those videos coming, but other than that, I just, I feel like I'm kind of lacking in the content department, which is why I've been trying to be better about uploading these types of videos with, um, that are a little bit longer. Not even that, I don't like, it doesn't really matter if they're longer or not, but I like to sit and listen to something longer while I diamond paint or I'm at work. So I'm just trying to come up with some varied content. And like I said, I love the holiday season. Um, I love Christmas. I know not everybody celebrates Christmas. Um, please don't take that the wrong way. Um, I respect all the holidays um, and I, you know, hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season, no matter what you celebrate. But I personally celebrate Christmas. I love Christmas. Um, so I thought it might be fun to to just mix up my channel a little bit. Now, I'm not changing my channel. I will be diamond painting content. And I think that these new videos might just be like bonus videos. Like maybe once a week for a few weeks, I'll do a DIY. Um, but I'm not going to become a different type of channel. So if you're here for the diamond painting content, please don't worry. It's staying. It's not going anywhere. Um, but I, I do consider myself crafty. I do love a good DIY. I like trying new things in, in the crafting world. So I am looking forward to, to doing that. And if they don't go over well, and you guys are like, please don't ever do that again. I won't ever do it again. Um, but I don't know. It just, the video that I saw that kind of gave me the idea. It just sparked some creativity. And while I love diamond painting, I do feel like it's not necessarily the most creative craft because you're, you're following the directions, right? And I think that's why I enjoy adding in special drills because it kind of gives you that creative liberty to adjust and change things as you see fit. I need to push down this garbage can. There we go. So yeah, I am looking forward to that. Uh, 602, 603, and 666. And then we are in the 700s. <sighs> um, what about you guys? Are you a multi-craft person. I know, sorry, I'm off. I'm out of frame. Um, I know that I've mentioned before that I feel like I've kind of given up a lot of my crafts in favor of diamond painting, um, which is true. 
because <laughs> as I'm getting all of these ideas and things that I want to make and try, I'm like, but how am I going to fit that in with diamond painting? What am I going to diamond paint? There was a day last weekend that I went hard with my silhouette cameo. I was just pumping out some, some crafts, um, something I'll be sharing in one of my DIY videos. And I didn't get to diamond painting on that Saturday until like seven o'clock that night. And I was like, what the heck? I had wanted, I had set myself the goal of completing two sections that day. I barely got one done before I was like, I need to go to bed. So I don't know. I am like, I really want to do these things, but I really want to do my diamond paintings. Um, I'm a very like goal oriented person. So if I'm setting the goal of these four diamond paintings that I want to get done in November, if I don't reach that goal, it's going to upset me. Not like upset me in a bad way. I'm not going to like rage quit diamond painting, but it'll just be in the back of my head like, oh, you didn't get that fourth kit done. So I'm very competitive with myself. Um, I don't like to project that onto other people because I know that not everybody feels that way. Like, I, I feel like I do put a lot of pressure on myself. Sorry, I thought my boyfriend said my name, but I don't think he did. Um, what you are able to do is good for you. You know, I, and I also don't like being those, that person that's like, well, you can feel how you feel. Like, obviously you can feel how you feel. <laughs> like anything I say isn't going to change your mind and I don't want it to. Um, but for myself, when I set a goal and I can't reach that goal, I do get a little bit bummed out, but I feel like I give myself a little bit more grace if you will during the holiday season because I love it so much there's so much I want to do and it's like okay something's got to give my main priority this weekend is to get my house decorated for Christmas I have all of the trees are up but only two of them are decorated and I haven't done any of my other decorations I know I decorate early for a lot of people I decorate way too early um but it makes me happy. It makes me enjoy the season even more than I already do. And I think that that's what should matter to you. Do what makes you happy. Um, so we'll see where I'm at when I do my month in review. We'll see if I was able to get those four kits in. I mean, the reality of it is today's the eighth and tomorrow I'll be already starting my second kit. So, you know, I am... I am doing fine <laughs> and I have a feeling that this Mandy will go by fairly quickly. Um, it is around, so sorry, my chair keeps squeaking. I have my backrest on and it keeps moving all around. Um, I do feel like I finish Mandy's, specifically round Mandy's quite quickly, so it could happen. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll be okay. Um, int I'm interested to know though, like, do you, do you guys set your, do you set a goal for the number of kits that you complete in a month? Do you plan your kits? I've had this month planned what diamond paintings I want to do. It has changed a little bit. I've, I've, um, I've mixed up. Since I, I did my loose um, idea of what I wanted to do, I have changed the kits. Um, so it's not set in stone for me, but I've had these kits more or less planned since the summer. Um, my brain just works better that way. Um, if I know what kits I'm working on, then I know if I need to purchase special drills, um, if there's a certain tray that I want or a certain pen that I want for that kit, I know what I need to get by a certain time point. Um, again, that's just me. <laughs> there are some people that have 
you know, two diamond painting pens that they love, and those are the pens that they use in every kit, and that's great. A part of me wishes that I was more like that. <laughs> and I'm not saying I go out and buy a special pen for every kit, because I don't, but I do have a very large pen collection, if you're new here. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. Do you plan, or do you just kind of wing it? Are you just like finish one kit and then you're like, ah, how about I do this one? Um, I do sometimes wish I could be more like that. I also wish I could do more than one project. Ah, last, oh my gosh, look at this piece of plastic. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, look at this. <laughs> it's big. I'm going to put it back so I can put it in my trash container when I start working on it um I wish I could do more than one project last Christmas I did two advent calendars like I made it myself I made my diamond painting into an advent calendar I did two of those and I did just a regular Christmas project oh my gosh it was I mean I got all three done but one of them was planned I did Santa face from diamond art club um, which was an experience. I do have a post review on that one. Um, I can link that down below. Um, and then Dreamer Designs came out with the Snow Queen from Curtis Reykjavik, which was one of my top wish list items for Dreamer Designs to do with Curtis. So when that came out, I was like, well, obviously. And then... Oh, Distracted by Diamonds came out with Christmas Kitty. So I had three projects last Christmas and I was stressed to the max. <laughs> um, I'm just not a multi-project gal. Like, give me my one diamond painting, let me finish it in a reasonable amount of time, and then let me move on. So those of you that have more than one whip, trust me when I say I'm quite jealous because... I would be more than happy to be working on multiple projects. It just doesn't work for me. But that's okay. To each their own. That's, that is one of the things that I really do love about diamond painting is it's a totally, I don't know if, I don't know if customizable is the right word, but maybe adaptable. It's completely adaptable to you. So I may do things differently than you do them and something I don't like may work perfectly for you. You know, I just, that is one of the things that I really do enjoy about diamond painting. We're almost done. And then we will move on to the special drills, which I'm excited to look at. Um, obviously I've looked at them. I had them in the video but um they've been what the heck did I do there I forgot to put this sticker on 3706 so this is 3746 I'm trying to keep talking so that you guys can't hear my boyfriend <laughs> Ooh, I feel like Oh, so back to the advent calendars. I don't think I'm going to do one this year. I don't know. See, I have so many Christmas paintings. I completely skipped out on Diamond Art Club's Christmas release. There are a couple from Dreamer Designs that I really love. There's one of a little boy um, opening a present under the tree and it ends up being a little puppy dog. I think that one is so cute. And it's also around. Um, and they also came out with a new Curtis Reykjavik image that's around. Um, it's like a kooky little snowman. <laughs> it's, it's cute. Um, but I haven't bought either of them. I just, I don't know. I've, I've talked about it. Now my cat is meowing. Um, 
Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, of course, she stops meowing and then I hit the play button and she starts again. She, my boyfriend is out there, so she's not by herself. Um, <laughs> so, I don't even know what I was talking about. Buying diamond paintings, I think. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I end up, at the end of the year, I end up being very selective. Like, last year, I went, I think October through December, minus Diamond Art Club's Black Friday. Um, I went that whole stretch without buying a diamond painting. So I just get more selective at the, at the end of the year because I know anything I work on or anything I buy, I won't work on until next year. So it, it'll just sit with the rest of my stash. So de of course, depending on what sales are like for Black Friday, um, I'll probably be doing some Christmas shopping. So we'll see what, you know, the diamond painting budget looks like but I'm sure I'll pick up a couple of things from a couple of sales um it's what I'm getting at I don't know you guys don't care um maybe you do but we're almost done Luna you're okay she's just gonna run in here and jump on the table on the desk so <laughs> trying to keep that from happening so trust me we have an open door policy she's always allowed but her up here with a bunch of little diamonds is is enough she's quite destructive when I have diamonds out and available <laughs> maybe if I don't talk should this be an ASMR kidding up video <laughs> Personally, ASMR doesn't really do anything for me. Sorry. Especially ASMR like eating videos. God, don't even get me started. I hate that. <laughs> um, we're almost done. Anyway, that was a weird tangent. Sorry. These ones are a little staticky. Lying around just a bit. to talk about <laughs> this is usually how my my longer videos go i'm like gung-ho i've got a bunch of topics and then suddenly i've got nothing and i'm just like yeah um yeah um yeah i listen to myself back when i'm editing and i'm like oh my gosh laura what the heck so annoying all right we have 38.55 and then we're on to 38.65. I have three bags, but I'm gonna see if I can fit it into two, two containers here. I think I should be able to. lost a couple but I'm going to be using a lot of 3865 AB so I'm not too worried about that. I'll definitely have enough of this color. Perfect. Okay so that is all of the regular drills kitted up. Look at this color palette. So pretty. So obviously I have a whole row, extra row here. So I could have gone ahead and used an extra container for my 310, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Okay, so now we're going to move on to all of the special drills that I have pulled to use for this kit. Now, marker labels. So I have a few colors already in my stash. Um, so I use these baggies on a book ring or an O-ring, depending on what you call them. I did not grab one, but I will in a couple minutes. 
Um, so these are already labeled in my normal system. So the drill color, which actually reminds me, I need to grab my labels. Okay, so I have labels. While I'm up, okay. I don't have any other book rings available, so I'll need to figure that out after. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get these into my regular storage bags. Um which again, I'm such a dummy. I don't have, you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. I'm going to pull the crystals out because I can't remember what color bags I use for crystals. So I need to do a little research. These sparklers are not for this kit. They were just ones that I picked up. And the 3865, I already have a bag for 3865s. So I'm going to just put these aside and they are extras if I need them. So let's pull out these other bags. Do I use pink for my crystals? I can't remember. Um, so we are going to get these into their teal bags first and then we'll go through the kitting up um, process for this particular painting. So the first color we have is 956. Now I have been thinking about redoing my special drills. I like this system and it does work for me, but I have a lot of special drills at this point. Um, I've been adding to a lot of my kits and I just have a lot. So I don't know that two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven. I don't know that this system is going to be sustainable for long term. So I have a drafting table and I keep these on O rings or book rings. Um, ugh in my drawers, but it's becoming a lot. Um, I color code, so I have different colors for rounds, for squares, for crystals, for sparklers. Um, I just had a lot going on. So I don't know, again, I just don't know if it long-term, if this is going to work as a, as a good, solution. So I've been kind of looking around. I kind of want to try to come up with something myself. Um, I, I came up with this system for myself. I'm not saying that other people don't use it. I'm not saying that I uh, created it, but at the time I hadn't seen anybody else storing their special drills like this um, or storing drills like this at all. So I did come up with it myself for me. Again, I'm not saying that I'm the first one that did this. I cannot confirm that. Um, I don't know that to be true, but at the time I hadn't seen anyone else do it. Um, so I would kind of like to come up with something myself. Um, of course, there are a lot of different ways. I know a lot of people use the Elizabeth Ward containers for long-term storage for regular and special drills. Um, Randy from You Can Call Me Better, I think she has a video on how she did that. I know some people use those storage drawers that come with round containers. Um, so that's an option. I don't know. I just kind of want to do something different. I don't want to put them in my regular drill storage though. I use the photo boxes for my regular uh, drill storage, like um, leftover drills. I'm all, I've also been thinking about completely redoing that. I would still use the same system, but when I first um, created the boxes and stuff, I didn't do it perfectly. So it's a little janky in spots. So I've been thinking about 
redoing that. Of course, that idea I got from Rebecca from Four Kids at 147 or Add More Zest. Um, she is, I, I created my special or my spare drill storage based off of her videos. So she definitely gets the credit for that one. Um, but I don't know, I just kind of, I love organizing. So I'm just kind of looking for, for something different, mix it up a little bit. So I'm sure I'll take you along for that ride if I ever come up with something, but for now, this is what I do. You definitely could keep it in these, um, these baggies that you get from DP with sparklers. These are very nice baggies. They're very thick. Um, and the zipper is, is very strong. So you definitely could reuse them from here. Um, I just started using these because there was a way to keep them all together instead of just having them around. I don't like the binder system for spare drills. Um, that just doesn't interest me, but we'll see. I'm sure I'll come up with something eventually. not going to say it but it's quiet again <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself how did I manage to get that so wrong okay uh, is it me is it me am I the drama um, you know what? It's because it's, it's nighttime, it's after work. I love kidding up though. So are you a kidding up kind of person? Do you enjoy it? Or do you work out of baggies? Or do you just do it because you have to, but you hate it? I love organizing all of the drills. Now, kidding down. Oh. Kitting down used to be one of my favorite things to do, but now, I feel like now I've been diamond painting for a while. I've accrued um, a lot of different storage options and I try to use all of them. So now I'm just like, oh, I don't have to kit down. I'll just use a different storage option. <laughs> okay, so here are all the ABs minus the 3865. Now I have the crystals and for some reason I cannot recall what color I store my crystals in. So I use teal for round ABs. Purple is square. Pink are sparklers. I guess I use, do I use red? I must use red for for crystals. Red it is. I know, I know, I color code, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, my brain just likes it. Okay, so. We have 718 crystal, 3325, 340, and 603. Now, something I do need to note and remember is I have two different 3325. So I have an AB and a crystal because I already had my crystal, I already had the crystal in my stash but I did not have the AB, so I was unsure of which one I wanted to use. So I'm going to, I think I'm just gonna set both of them out um, and make that decision when I start working on the diamond painting. But these crystal colors, I don't know if you guys can see that, but oh, so pretty. I like using crystals in the darker colors as opposed to ABs because with the ABs you can kind of get that dark green type of coating and on a color like this, this is like a raspberry maybe, I don't want a green and blue flash on that. So I 
I've really started enjoying the crystals for darker colors. So if there's an AB or if there's a DMC color that you're like, oh, I want to get a special drill for that, but it's a darker color and you don't know how the AB coating will be, definitely look into the crystal of that same color and see if you can find it. Uh, one thing that I do really love about DP with Sparklers, which is where all of these special drills came from, is they actually put in their listings, if a DMC is a dark color, they actually say, um, I, I don't know exactly how they word it, but it's something like, please be aware that this DMC color being dark um, may produce a, you know, green or dark blue or just a different kind of, these are static -y. Um, it just, it, it may alter the color that you're looking for. So definitely pay attention to that and possibly try to use the crystal if it's available. All right, the last one here. So three, pretty pink. I just felt like this kit deserved the extra, extra something special. It's been it's been a bit since I've done a, a big drill change on a kit. I think the last one that I did this many colors was um, Daughter of Honor, which was God. Is that May? Oh my gosh. It was whenever the princess along was, it was a long time ago. Okay, so we have all of our colors here. So the next thing we're gonna do is I use these Avery multi-use labels. I'm gonna need two. And I like these because these are removable. So the rectangle labels that I use, I just get those off of AliExpress or Amazon, just the really cheap ones that you don't really know what, <laughs> what they are, like what the adhesive is. Um, that's what I use on here. And these can be really hard to peel off. So since I reused this packaging, um, I wanted to make sure that I had labels that I could take on, put on and take off of this. So I have used these before, they work really good for me. What I'm going to do is on the round label, I'm going to put the symbol. So for 743, it is this, the greater than symbol. And is this greater than, or is this less than, uh, whatever. And on the middle of the bag, I just put the symbol. Luna, please. Uh, 3865. Sorry, I realize that you guys probably can't see what I'm doing. So, just in the middle, like that. Now, something I do want to say is just because I have all of these special drills out and I'm kidding them up for this painting does not mean that I will use them all. This is a lot of special drills. Now, I 100% could use them all. I just won't know for sure until I really get into the diamond painting. So 33, 25, wait, what? 33, oh, okay. Wait, did I sub this color? Let's take a gander. 30. Yes. Okay. So 519, I subbed um, 3325. I didn't realize I did that. So for this one, I will do the symbol, which is an arrow. And then below it, I'm just going to put the correct DMC. So we have 3325 is this DMC, but I'm using it for DMC 519. 
I didn't realize I had, I, I remember there being one that I was thinking about subbing, but I ended up finding that one in a crystal. So I didn't realize that I had other ones. So 996 is the symbol V. 3846 is N. I love it when it's letters and easy symbols to draw. 956 is the pound sign. 350, I don't know why I said it like that. 350 <laughs> is this weird one. It's not really weird. It just makes me think. Is it black though? Yes, okay. Color it in. I just like it to be somewhat close so I'm not confused. This is not as I've been before. 602 is... Oh, okay. Wait a second. No, that's right, okay. I was like, I feel like I've drawn this one before. It's just the opposite way, Laura. You got this. And 208, I cannot see that symbol, is two dots. It's like a button or a pig nose, whichever you prefer. <laughs> and then the crystals. So 603 is... A corner triangle. 340 is this thing. <laughs> 3325 again is actually 519. So this is one that I'll decide if I use the crystal or the AB when I get in there. And then the last one is 718. We're not done yet though. <laughs> so since I have so many crystals, I don't, or special drills, I don't always do this when I am adding special drills in, especially when it's like two different colors because I just put them out in front of me and I know, oh, okay, I need to remember that I have special drills for these, but for this many, it can be annoying to A, have them all laid out because sometimes you just don't have the room and B, to have to rifle through and be like, I thought I had a drill for that color. Oh, I don't. It can be annoying. So what I do is I take a marker, I go onto my containers and somewhere on it, it doesn't matter where, I just make a, a little marking. So now when I see this container, 340, when I pull that out to do on the canvas, I know, okay, I have a special drill for that one. So I'm just going to do that. If I don't have to pull the thing out, I'm not going to. So you may not see me do all of them, but I will show you uh, at the end. This marker doesn't really like this washi tape, but I think we can make it work. can do it. There you go. Lots of babies. <laughs> uh, 3865 I don't have to take out. 3325 is actually 519. I already have that one. 208. Hear stuff rattling on my desk. I apologize. Uh, 602 I need to get a different marker, I think. As long as I have an idea, as long as I can kind of see it, I'm fine with that. So 3846. Let me grab another marker. one 
one here. Right, we'll see if that works a little bit better. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit better. 38.46, then we have, sorry you guys can't see all of this. I'm just kind of, I made a mess off to the side here. So I kind of have limited space. 7.43. Definitely works better. Three fifty. Nine fifty six. The one with the giant piece of plastic in it. Thirty eight oh one. Thirty-seven oh five. We're almost done. And nine nine six. Nine nine six. Okay, so that is all of my special drills marked. Now I don't have any of my little baskets clear. Um, I need to do a little bit of dekitting and putting away of accessories. But I have these little baskets here. Actually, is this one I think? No. We can combine. So I have these little baskets. Um, I got these from TJ Maxx, I think. And what I do is I keep all of my accessories and stuff. If you watch my, my videos regularly, you'll have seen these before. Um, when I do my post reviews, I always share my accessories and they're always in one of these baskets. So the same will be true for all of these special girls. So they will be housed in this basket and as I need them um, or as I diamond paint, I can pull them out. Um, I'm not going to go as far as to put them in number order just yet because... I do like to have them out uh, when I'm actually diamond painting, so I'll put them in number order then. But I'll put my washi tape in there. So I have my crystals, my ABs, and then I will have all of my regular drills. And I'm now ready to go. So tomorrow, when I get home from work, I can start the Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh, before I do that, let me grab ooh, the sticker sheet. I just like to trim this up a little bit. And this will also go in my basket. You could, in theory, which I might do, actually, um, you can stick a label down the side here. So I will know that these are the drills for Sugar Plum Fairy, and I will know that these are the accessories for Sugar Plum Fairy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's kit and chat. It was a bit of a long one. I think I can actually... I had to stop, so I don't know exactly how much time we've gone through, but um, I'm excited to work on this kit. I did pick my washi tape. I thought it would go quite well, um, but I haven't picked any of my other accessories. So if you wanna see the accessories I choose, if you wanna see my progress as I work through this kit, please go over to Instagram and give me a follow if you're so inclined. Um, I still have my 2000 follower giveaway that I need to do. It's just been a little bit crazy. And now with holidays, it just might have to wait. I, I also have to do my 1000 subscriber giveaway over here. So I have a lot going on, but, um, if you enjoyed today's video, I don't often say this, but if you enjoyed today's video, please think about leaving a like and subscribing if you're interested in seeing some more content and make sure you head over to Instagram and follow me there as well. So hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you enjoyed my rambles and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.